Hi, this is Scott Dudley and in this video we're going to take a look at how to count the total amount of values in a table in Looker Studio. So if we start off by adding a table, so if we go up here to add a chart, and then if we click on table, and just drop this down here. So just by default it's given us the uh, first session date and the total users. And uh, what we might also add in here is the browser. Okay, so one way that you can get this is to also add a scorecard onto the canvas. So if we go up the top here to add a chart and then scorecard, You'll see here that by default it's put in the total users, uh, which is seven. Okay, and if we click on the, the pencil here, we can see that the aggregation has come in as auto. So it's automatically totaled up two, three, four, five, six, seven users. So if we change this to the browser, so the browser column here, so we change the uh, the metric there to browser and it's come up with three so you can see here that there are three unique browsers on the, in this table so Safari, Chrome and Internet Explorer uh, and then if we click on the arrow here there is the option between count and count distinct so the count will count the total amount of rows that the browser is featured in. So that would be uh, six. And then the count distinct removes all the duplicates. So that's basically how many different types of browsers there are, which you can see is three. So the Safari, Chrome and Internet Explorer. And then one other way that you can get this information is to remove unnecessary fields from the table. So if we remove the first session date, if we go back to the table properties, we get rid of the first session date. Then you'll see that it's got the Chrome browser, Safari, Internet Explorer, and it's totaled up the users here for two and one for each, each browser. All right, and that's just done by removing that date field because then it doesn't need to list them all by the dates. It can just total them up for each specific browser. So you can either do it this way or you can use the scorecard method uh, that I've just shown you. But either way, that will show you the count of a particular uh, metric or dimension um, from your data source. So hopefully that helps. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Thanks.